Hey everybody, this is Lou. Uh, I was thinking about the third cardinal sin uh, that we've been talking about, uh, not losing focus on the mission. Uh, of course, the mission for us is to make sure that we always stay focused on people's homes, that uh, a community or a city or a small town is someone's home. And uh, the importance of homecoming uh, has always struck me as something that uh, is key. It plays an important role in a community's cycle, uh, in its soul. Uh, someone once said, as long as we know that home is intact, we can go other places, go elsewhere, and, and still feel grounded. And I suspect when a 72-year-old man uh, arms himself and slaughters 10 other people that he knows, he's elsewhere. He's adrift, even if he's standing in his own familiar place. Uh, so what do we do about that in our communities? Is there a, a technological solution? Is there a law enforcement solution? Is there a mental health solution? When impotence meets technology, whether it's social media or weapons, like a gun that shoots repeated rounds at the pull of a trigger, the power it appears to give seems pretty resolute. Um, I was watching the LA County Sheriff, uh, Luna is his name, try to explain the sort of... Uh, thing that had just happened he didn't know lisa wolf uh, a therapist uh, who we did a podcast with said these problems manifested themselves long before the crisis next month i'm doing a session on homelessness and technology we're going to be trying to bring some best practices together if you have a community where you have found a solution where people feel more at home where you've resolved some mental health issues let us know and uh, we'll have you on that panel so i wanted to put that out there today my name is Lou Zaccarella, as you know, and uh, remember, there really is no place like home. Let's, let's protect it.